In this video, we'll be covering why autism eye contact is difficult and how autism eye contact is an issue for people on the autism spectrum. Coming right up. Hey, I'm Dan. I've got Asperger's, OCD, ADHD, and dyslexia. I make weekly videos on autism and Asperger's, so consider subscribing to see more of this type of content. We'll be covering autism eye contact issues, what the professionals say about it, why it's important to note if you see this behavior in people, and at the end, I'll talk about my personal experience and why I feel autism eye contact is an issue, especially for me. Hello and Happy New Year, everybody. I'm super pumped to get this year started. I hope you guys had a great new year. I've got a new line of merch out. This is B creative it says be creative and an ASD down here we're doing hats and t-shirts so please check it out in the description below or on a card above here first things first we're gonna read a comment from one of you guys so let's do that and this is this week's comment okay so this week's comment is from ethereal deviant and they said awesome dude you're doing great these videos help a ton of people and I try to share them as much as I can I am unable to get my doctors to listen to me about this stuff but I keep trying and will keep on trying uh, thanks so much for the comment and that's really bizarre so if your doctors aren't listening to you about your uh, health needs then they have a duty of care to listen and respect that so maybe take it higher and go see another doctor that would be my advice if you'd like me to read out your comment please make sure you hit that bell icon on the desktop and mobile because I'll be picking from the first 30 comments to pick one of those to read out in the beginning of every single video okay guys on with the video autism eye contact now in typical situations for neurotypical people eye contact is a way of formally greeting people be it like in a business sense or a social situation um, and it's a topic that they kind of don't really talk talk about because it's just a given that I suppose everyone with a neurotypical brain greets people, socializes, hangs out and actually does all of the uh, professional attitude stuff uh, using eye contact. Now eye contact is a form of non-verbal communication uh, meaning that you, you use one's eyes to kind of uh, determine feelings and other types of gestures because this part of your face um, is open to a lot of interpretation through non-verbal communication. Now people on the autism spectrum have an issue with communication because it's the part of the brain that's affected by autism which is the communication part which is why uh, people with autism and Asperger's syndrome have an issue with uh, the social situations and social characteristics and gestures. Now eye contact being one of those uh, gestures, this is um, probably how this is problematic or why this issue occurs. And it's not just uh, eye contact, like social issues where social gestures, there could be hand gestures or body movements. People on the autism spectrum actually have a hard time distinguishing those nonverbal characteristics and gestures and are kind of at a loss with it. So what do the professionals think about autism and eye contact? Now, the professional industry kind of tried to say that in uh, in a neurotypical conversation, people understand the importance of eye contact to make sure that the, the communication is, is done formally and well. Now, they were saying that people on the autism spectrum don't understand the importance of eye contact during a communication or a conversation or anything to do with uh, being face to face with somebody. So a person of autism doesn't have eye contact as a list of priorities and therefore doesn't follow up the task of using eye contact as a non-verbal communication point. But the people with neurotypical brains would actually see that eye contact is um, important and is a uh, priority in communication and so they would therefore make that eye contact. But I don't know if I agree with the professionals in that sense. I don't know if that's exactly how it is. I'd like you guys to interact. So let me know in the comments as well how you uh, feel about eye contact and why you guys don't. But um, I just wanted to say here that why it's important to know eye contact difficulties in people. Now, individuals who don't make eye contact could very well be on the spectrum if they're undiagnosed. And this is important to note because there may be other behavioral characteristics that you're not picking up on, but eye contact is probably one of the first ones you'd see uh, and see that there's a behavioral trait there that may be um, a bit different to the uh, neurotypical community. Now I would highly suggest anybody who's looking at somebody and have maybe come across this video because you're looking for information about children or people not making eye contact with you, I would highly recommend checking out my video on five signs of Asperger's syndrome. I'll link it up in the card above here so you guys can check that out and uh, see if any of the other symptoms match up to the behavior of the person that you're thinking about. Oh, but it is important because the people may not be accessing help and stuff that they need, so it's important to note down if they are having uh, non-verbal communication issues and maybe having other issues, so please check that out. My personal opinion on it and why I don't make eye contact, I have an issue making eye contact or I struggle to make eye contact. And the reason is because I feel like 
it, it's um, it's invading your soul. When you look into somebody's eyes, it's almost like you're having this, I don't know, this unworldly connection with their soul and it's gonna eat you up. And it's kind of a bit weird and I find it, the, the whole thing, a bit crazy and creepy. So I, I am almost like anxious or like socially nervous to look at somebody's eyes because uh, Asperger's and autism comes with social anxiety and an anxiety level um, that you can have meltdowns from outside, changing routines, all this kind of stuff. And I believe that the whole social anxiety thing definitely plays a hand in the fact that I find it super difficult to try and look somebody in the eye when we're in a social situation, but I find it a little bit easier to look people in the eye if I know them really, really, really well. So like my girlfriend, I can look her in the eye, uh, my parents, I can look them in the eye for, for a bit, but it's weird. I feel like it's an unusually intimate uh, situation. I don't know if that's the same for everybody, but I, honestly, it's like looking at somebody's soul and they're reaching into you and, and you're like, oh my God, this is like an intense kind of overly stressful anxiety riddle thing where we're looking into each other's eyes really awkwardly and it's really bizarre. But I'd really like to know what you guys think about it and how you guys are affected by the uh, autism eye contact um, issue. If you're new around here and you'd like to learn more about autism and Asperger's, please hit that subscribe button above here. To see my last video, it's over here and to see a video that you should think you will like, please click over here. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace!